Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today we have this Saker cordless buffer polisher. 12 volt, rotating speeds 2500 to 5000 RPM. Battery powered with a 20, let's see, we got 12 volt lithium battery, 2000 mAh. Of course, this is your charge plug, and then this is the body or the polisher itself. You have on off button, and your speeds are down here. I have already taken all this out of the box so you could see it. Now, one thing the first thing you're going to do when you unbox this is you're going to plug in your charger, and it plugs in right there. With so it's going to take a little while to charge it all the way up and you're going to want to charge it before you start you're also going to do small sections at a time that way if the battery runs down you don't have a bunch of polish or wax on your car that needs buffed off comes with this handy dandy apron and instruction manual be sure to read your instruction manual before operating it comes with all these pads you've got some really fine sandpaper here P2000 hook and loop velcro on the back got your application pad flat hook and loop velcro this is another one that's uh, got a little bit of a rougher surface on it hook and loop and then this you can put over these pads and it's going to protect them from getting wet and getting product on the pad itself but you would put that uh, in fact i'm going to put that over that pad and then i'm going to use this i think to apply a lot of people just apply with the foam pad and i might but you've got different you know actually i think this one's rougher i may be wrong they're about the same but different application pads polishing pads more polishing pads and a really fine polishing pad this is also velcro hook and loop these stretch over the pad itself these you will apply directly to the hook on the bottom of this polisher but all this comes in the box today i'm going to be using McGuire's Miller Gray's 9 Swirl Remover 2. And we're going to start on the hood. Now, yeah, I've got, it's actually shinier than what it looks right now because it's got just a little bit of glaze from just uh, washing it off, and I haven't really wiped it real good. You can see the streaks here. Normally, you got to shine more like this area right here. Now, on the hood, I really don't have any pinstriping as of yet. I do need to wipe it again with the cloth before I start buffing on it, which I probably don't have to, but I'm going to. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, now it shined up better for you. There is a water spot right here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I really, I really don't see any pinstripes. But we're gonna see how this polish I got. There's a spot right there. I don't know if y'all can see it in the camera or not but i do keep this thing waxed pretty heavy and uh this is a lot of forest roads and sometimes there are some limbs hanging out 
So I try to keep it heavy, heavily waxed. This will be the first time I've actually polished it. So let's get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the battery in. I have already charged it. It'll only go in one way. These little finger presses go to where the cutouts are and just press it in and on off and your speeds. I'm gonna start out on five. And I'm also going to put this protector where the mosquitoes are bad and it's very hot out here right now over this pad and I'm gonna apply it. I think I'm gonna apply it with this pad. Let's go ahead and stick this on there. There's covers good. And I'm gonna hold this between my legs. Put this on. Now we're just going to put some on here. I'm going to go ahead and start out heavy. And we're probably just going to work one side of the hood at a time. Okay, I already applied the wax with this one as a polish. And I went to a little bit thicker one to buff some of it off and polish some more. And now I'm fixing to take that off and, and go to this white one. But you can see the polish is still on there. I buffed some of it off with that white pad. Now I'm gonna go to a finer pad. Still dull looking. You can see it from the other side there. I'm not going to record all this because it would be a very long video. This was the final pad I used. And this is the end result. Got some dust on it. But it, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but there was a pretty bad water spot right here. It's been there for a long time and it's gone. Other than some little bit of lint, from the pad, I see no pinstripes whatsoever. I don't see any more water drops that 
got baked into the wax. Now this was a nice shine already because I had put ceramic coat on it or ceramic based wax and uh, worked pretty good and it holds up pretty good and I actually think it caused a little bit of issue with the wax I'm using now to get everything to blend. It took a while to get the haze out. But that looks really good. And I'm going to go over this again with another Meguiar's just regular wax. I may not have to, but why not? But you can see it's got a really good shine. Deep luster. The little polisher made this a lot easier. Now, I, it took some time. I just worked this area right here. And I came over to the edge of this decal. I haven't done this side. But I did that amount before the battery died. And I used an application pad, a kind of buffing pad, and then another buffing pad, and then the polishing pad. So I actually went through four processes just right here. But I am happy with that little buffer i feel like i really got some stuff out of this because that mark right there i had worked on before and i just never could get it out but it's gone it is not there so maybe i'll do a time lapse of doing the rest of the car and then of course i'll get some after pictures i got a lot of work to do i got to do the black you can see the spots that's on the black there There is some pinstripe right there. So I'll try to get that out. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'll just take a picture and see if I can get it. So stay tuned. Okay, in this kit, you get your wax. You get your application pad. And then you get your buffing rag. Okay, I applied the wax with this applicator pad and now it says let it dry for about five to ten minutes. I only did this half of the hood here. I tried not to get it on the black but I did get some on there but I'll take care of this black later. Right now we're just worried about getting some shine on the hood and I already removed all the imperfections with this. There wasn't much. Like I said, just some rain etching drops. And uh, there was one little pinstripe right here, but it wasn't very deep at all. And all that's gone. That glaze took it out. Now we'll let this dry for five, 10 minutes. We'll use the microfiber towel to buff it off and it should be done. This is the side I haven't done. I don't know if you can see, there's dull spots there. There's a, it's like maybe a pinstripe right here. Pinstripe right here. Not very deep at all. Still looks pretty good. That ceramic coat does a real good job that I put on here. But now we're coming into what I've just polished and waxed now I don't it's hard to tell difference in this camera but you can tell that I worked on this this has a really good shine 
the metallic flakes popping. I just don't know if I'm capturing it in this video or not. I hope so, because I'm kind of in shade, a little bit of sun. This thing's just got a good shine on it, period. But yeah, I can tell a difference. If you're looking at it with your naked eye, you can see, and there's like no blemishes that I can see anywhere in this paint. So the next thing I'm gonna work on is I need to finish the other half of this hood, but I wanna move on over to this door where I showed y'all this pinstripe and see what we can do with that. It starts here and it comes all the way back. There's two of them. Looks like it stops about here. And let's just see what we can do with this door. Okay, this is the spot where the scratch was, the pinstripe. I've got the first coat on, I just did the whole door. Worked it a little while with the applicator pad. And I put on another, you can use this for applicator too. Go ahead and work it some more with this one for a bit before I go to the heavier one. And then we'll polish it out and see what happens. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. Uh, I've got a picture of that scratch, it showed it pretty good. And when I get done, we'll see what it looks like. All right, this is after I buffed with that uh, polish. And if you'll remember, I've got another picture that you looked at. There was a pinstripe, two pinstripes coming across here. And if you look right here, you can still see a little bit of it where I didn't get good enough. I was trying to stay off of my trim, but I didn't get up in there good enough to get that out. But as you go, it disappears way better than it was. And I haven't even hit it with the uh, wax yet. So I'm going to buff on this just a little bit more. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I think you can, right there. It stops right there, but it used to go way on across and you cannot see it now. And other than that, this door was in really good shape. I didn't see any other pinstripes. So we're going to put the wax on it and the door will be done okay the scratch was right through here you see where these scratches i think you can are on the fender come up through there you see a little bit right there not much and i don't see any in the door it stopped about right here So yeah, that looks pretty good. I hit that one time with that Saker polishing pad and the door would be done. I still have to do the front fender and this, the, or the rest of it. But I just wanted to see if it take those uh, pinstripes out. And as you can see, it did. Looks great. Nice and slick. So the Saker tool is definitely making this a lot easier. Now I've already hit this with that final polishing pad with the Saker. Man, it's got some shine to it. I know the camera's not doing it justice now. I haven't done that fender yet. And I haven't done that side of the hood. And like I said, you see the shine in that side too. It's hard to get the details in the camera, but there's no blemishes. It's, it's not only shiny, there's no scratches, there's no blemishes. It's like brand spanking new. So y'all need to get this Saker cordless buffer polisher.
very shiny. It's done. Wow. Hey guys, the hood and the front fender and the driver's door is finished. I still got to do the rest of the vehicle, but it is looking really good. Look at the shine in that thing. That metal flake is just a popping, boy, it's shining. I don't see any kind of blemishes. I got wax on this fender. I'm fixing to buff it off. And then when I do that, the whole front will be done. And I'll move to this passenger door. And then continue on to the back. Just a little section at a time. This is where the pinstripes were. And I've already used the polishing compound. I waxed it and I'm fixing to take the wax off and this should be complete. The scratch was right here in this pin that started. You see where it actually hit the fender here and it went that way. We just follow along where it was. So far I'm not seeing nothing. I did wax the whole door. Now the Saker has a really nice finished polishing pad and I will take that pad and go over this wax again to get it just as shined up as I can get it. But this does a pretty good job right now the battery's charging. If you buy that Saker go ahead and buy a second battery and then you can keep going that way one battery can be recharging while you're using one. Yeah, it looks pretty good.
Okay, I'm gonna call it a day on the Jeep. This is the tools that I used. The Saker cordless buffer polisher. It came with all these pads. And as you can see, I've used them all. Experimenting, I ended up, I started applying and uh, polishing some with this. And then I would go to this over that. And then I would swap out these on top of this. This kind of keeps that pad from getting saturated. So I played in between these. And then this was next to last. This is what I used last to finish it up. I also used this uh, mirror glaze swirl remover first. Then I used the ultimate liquid wax which came with this applicator and this terry cloth. So I did use that with this Meguiar's liquid wax. Also used some other terry cloth, or uh, not terry cloth. I can't even think I'm tired right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this Saker tool did awesome. Now I do recommend you get two batteries because you'll be waiting in between panels if you only have one but here's the finished result I don't know how well y'all will be able to see it I took some pictures it looks pretty good I still have to do the windows I even used it on the black and it looks really good I'm not in full sun, I'm part shade, part sun. I think it looks pretty good. There's no swirl marks, there's no pin stripes. I've got one dent in this Jeep and it's in the passenger front door. And it ain't gonna buff out. It's not real big, but it is a dent. But there you have it, guys. Did the whole Jeep with that Saker cordless buffer polisher. I think it's well worth the money. And then I'll clean up all these pads and I'll be able to use them again. I didn't use the apron. I got old clothes on, so it is hot out here. So that's just makes it a little bit hotter. Be sure to check the link out in the description so you can go pick one of those up yourself. And get one for your friends. Mm -hmm.